everyone, this is Shadowfury 33 with the first map of the Playfest playing going on today, and it's a experimental map by Sukhanov, and going to be playing me, Sukhanov, Decime, and Shalka. So the experimental map works that everyone starts as Grekum, and then from there has to work with basically a bunch of nukes. And you can in fact go back and nuke someone in the unplayable past if you wish. But at this point, I'm just going to try to figure out the setup of the map before I do anything crazy like that. And apparently... Hmm, okay, so apparently I'm a bit messed up when it comes to generation. So now, setup. Seems like apparently I need to get troop reserves. I don't know if Sohanov actually anticipated that or just did the macro fab for the sake of the nukes. So anyway, at this point, I'm not sure exactly what everyone else is doing. I'm a bit worried that I'm going to get hit by a nuke at some point. So... Hopefully, nothing too drastic that will happen, but we'll see. Anyway, so once this, this far seems to be done, so I'll just set them up to start doing some RP making. So, for generating resource processors with the Seppi here. And just pause to get this done. So, my plan ultimately for this game is going to be to well, try to get a decent army, hopefully, not get. Oh crap, there's a nuke! Oh crap, already there's a nuke. Um, okay, so I guess. One sec. Going to portation to the rescue. Chronoport you. Okay, so my crew carrier is now chronoported. Or cruiser, rather, is now chronoported. And I'm not sure if there's a teleporter around here or something that he was using, because he managed to get in pretty hard. Unless he went around just the side. Which case I have no Oh, there he is. Found him. Oh, and looks like... Okay, so he's getting his, cruise, his carrier in. Oh, crap. Gonna need to have a few more... A few more iterations of the carrier are gonna be needed in order to get through this. Oh, crap. It can't come for it yet. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back. Because now I realize what I need to have done was go here, because he's attacking from the south and get in. Hopefully I'll be able to preserve my resources. You... Oops. You do nothing. You undo all attacks and go forward! Okay, so I'm gonna get my carriers... That's my cruisers. My cruisers. Hopefully my cruisers will be able to save my base and I actually not think they'll be able to do that at all. Okay, so my best bet apparently at this point is to go for a counter nuke. Although, actually, I can't really tell. Maybe he's not gonna be able to nuke. No, he needs. Okay, so forget it. Counter nuke. He's getting two nukes on him instead of. Oh, wait, no, this isn't gonna work, is it? No, that was a bad idea. Okay. So, you know what I'm actually gonna do is set. Oh dear. Even harder by Pink. Okay, so Pink's now hitting me in the future, and now I gotta figure out how to get my. my cruiser back far enough so I can hit. so I can get back at Shalka because he was nuking me. Oh, great, now Stahanov's now can finally come in. Okay, so Sukhano's finally coming and trying to nuke me out. I wonder why everyone's trying to nuke me. Anyway. So, hopefully my pair... Maybe if I go further into the future and... No, it looks like... It looks like... Yeah, I think... Decimate yes, pretty much took me over. Well into the future. Okay, so I've got to figure out how to get around this. I think... If I go back... Okay, there's Sukhano. I'm hitting him. But it looks like I'm not hitting him to any great effect. Actually, no, never mind. I destroyed his cruiser. Or carrier, rather. Although, I'm not sure, did the... No, the chronification did not fall off the unplayable pass, so at this point I don't think... Yeah, I only have one cruiser at this point. But I think if I go here and set a nuke... Oh, now my nuke's gone. Okay. And then do that. Then it should work. No, apparently there's not enough resources anyway. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go for an unplayable pass rush with that carrier or cruiser. Yeah, I don't seem to have much of a chance at this point. I think I got pretty heavily hit very early game, so I don't think I'm gonna really have much of a chance to get around this. Looks like somehow I managed to run out of Q plasma. Oh, right, because I chronoported. That's right. If I chronoport, I'd run out of Q plasma because I only have 40, so I only have enough for a single chronoport. Unless I don't collect more, which apparently I can't because I lost everything. 
to Chalkwest's new gear, who that apparently can't actually be cancelled because now I only have one character, cruiser. But it looks like my cruiser that I sent down might actually be able to stop it from happening in the first place. No, never mind. Oh, no, no, okay, so the past, the old carrier is coming through and. Yeah, okay, so it looks like the nuke went off, obliterated my entire army. Okay, so that wasn't much of a chance. Could have shame that I can't really go back and stop it from doing anything, but. And this one's unplayable past, so yeah, I really don't have much of a chance. I think I'm kind of done. But I might be able to just barely if I just. No, I don't think I can, actually. I, I'm out of resources. Too far out of resources to possibly get out of this. Yeah, so, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be making a lot more from the Playfest later on today. So, I think I'm pretty much done. Unfortunately, I can't really observe what goes on apart from my attack on Shulk. Which, actually, you know what? My attack on Shulk isn't going too badly. It's not... I don't have much of a chance to get beyond where I am now, but I feel to at least cripple him enough that he can't do much. So I can't really fight, but I can't really do anything either, so... Anyway, I got rid of Shulka, I think. I'm not sure if he's actually going to go back and stop me, or what, I think. And it looks like I really am just going to take out Shulka. Except maybe this... No, that's not good. So yeah, I really don't know how... Yep, so, okay, so... Shalka hit me and crippled me, and now completely destroyed Shalka. And I don't know if Shalka's actually going to do anything right now. It looks like he's... Okay, he's trying to distract my cruiser with an octo. He's probably going to try to make Seppies around that. So you know what? I'm just going to... You go back here, and then attack me, because I think... I think he's trying to distract me, and it's not going to work. I said he will be able to take care of his Octo when he gets to my base. And everything else will be able to just get around that. So I think... I don't know if Shalka surrender or what, because he's in the present... Or he's actually in this, like, future. No, actually, I don't have any... Okay, I don't have any eyes in his base in that part of the future. Though, really, from the looks of it, I don't think really there's that much that's not going to change at this point. I really have to take, destroy his entire base. So, there's... So Shalka, at least, I managed to get revenge on. Even if I'm not going to be able to win this game anytime soon. So from here on out, I'm going to try... Maybe I can try getting rid of Sakhanov. I don't know. I think, really, Sakhanov and Decime probably managed to build up a bit. I mean, maybe they nuke each other. I'm not sure. It sounded like in the chat that Sakhanov actually nuked Decime, but I really have no idea. And it looks like Sakhanov's apparently being... Oh, wait, no. Sakhanov's attacking me... Oh shoot, Stakhanov kind of went back in time and stopped my carrier or cruiser from Ah shoot, so he saved Shalka. I had my revenge! You took it from me. Bastard. Okay, so this Okay, this is unexpected. Oh, thanks a lot, Stakhanov. So now I'm kinda out of luck. I can't really do much of anything. I'm yeah, I'm just going to be stuck here for the rest of the game. <sighs> Good run. I mean, at the very least, Tahana doesn't have a carrier, or a cruiser either, and he's not going to be able to get another... Or, carrier! No, cruiser! He's not going to be able to get another cruiser for the rest of the game. So yeah, Tahana and I are both crippled. Or at least, I'm crippled. I don't know about Tahana. He might actually be in good shape, but... Yeah. There, there goes. It's completely eliminated my ability to get my revenge on Shalka. So now Shalka can come back and probably end up obliterating me. It's kind of annoying, but uh, whatever. My revenge is so gone. So now I'm kind of. I really have nothing I can do. So I'm just going to send the Seppi on a suicide run to see what's going on in Stefano's base, and then I'll probably surrender. Because, I mean, still observing this game, I still want to see what's going on. I have no idea what's going on, so if I surrender, I won't be able to see a thing. I'll be stuck in the present. So if I can just keep this Seppi alive, and when it dies, then I'll, then I'll have to surrender. But until then, we can at least see what went on and how everything's screwed up. And now I completely forgot to get the center section, which I got last time I played this map. Anyhow, sounds like something's going on over here.
I'm guessing Sukhanov and maybe Decime have managed to actually build up their bases a fair bit. And yeah, oh yeah, there's an Octopod coming through. A, is that a Temporal? Yeah, it's a Temporal Solution Shield on the Octopod, which I think would have actually been good in a sepi if I had the resources to do it. So yeah, that Octopod is invincible. And the Seppi's just going along and not finding anything, so it looks like at this point my base is going to be completely obliterated by Sukhanov. So let's see, Decime isn't really doing much. Looks like he's got. Oh, actually hasn't sent out his cruiser at all, though I can't tell if he's got a nuke or not. And my Seppi's just going here and getting get himself killed. So, while well, Nakapod comes through my base and destroys me. So at this point, I really don't know what's going to go through. Yeah, so the Octopod obliterates my Arcticus, and now I'm basically dead. Yeah, okay, actually, it looks like Shalka... Apparently, according to Sakana, Shalka is still dead. So, yeah, this is a rather confusing match, but anyway. Yes, yeah, so this is... Okay, so it looks like Sakana actually doesn't want to fight me. After all, he seems to have gotten stuck somewhere. See, I'm getting hit there, and then... Now he's changed his tune, he's actually going out and attacking someone else. But I don't have enough resources to get any more units, so I can't really check out what's going on, so I have really no idea what's happening. Just looks like Shalika's maybe getting current boarding. According to the sound, it sounds like the Octopod. Okay, you can see here, the Octopod's just destroyed, but probably this is Macrofab. I think we're just generally attacking stuff going around there, but I really don't know, unfortunately, what it is, so I can't see what's going on. But the Octopod is getting rid of Shalka. He's basically destroying Shalka, which I was trying to do. But no! Sakana just had to take the glory from it, didn't he? So it looks like Sakana is going to be finishing off Shalka with his Emits block Octopod. While Shalka comes up in my main with an Octopod of his own, I guess to finish me off again, since I really don't have... Yeah, I'm dead. Apparently. I have no resources, I have nothing I can do. I got nuked from really early game. Just coming with a couple octopods to finish me off. Actually, it looks like. No, it's not. Okay, so it's not octopods in the future. Yeah, so he's gonna come and basically have his revenge on me, having revenge on him. Apparently, revenge goes both ways in this game, so I'm gonna be kinda out of luck. Once again. Trying to observe what I can based on the sounds, but it sounds like I'm not going to be able to observe much more at all. So at this point, I'm just going to surrender and hopefully, that looks like I can't really get anything else for information. So I hope you enjoyed this odd game, and I'll try to bring you more. Actually, I will be bringing you more later on today.